Hello, this is John Halloran with Shred Workout. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel your diet is? Do you feel that you have a healthy, healthy diet where you can maintain throughout your whole lifestyle and be good? If, if you do, then, you know, listen to this diet and maybe it will help, it will help you, maybe it won't. But binge diets are not the way to go. You know, you don't want to have that yo-yo effect. Gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight. I would rather be healthy and stay fit and just live a healthy lifestyle. And nutrition has a lot to do with that. I personally, you know, I love my breads. I love my pasta. and I, I, I don't want to give it up. So I've done a lot of research on how to avoid giving it up and eating it the right way. You know, and I still love my sugars too. My simple carbs. So... I'm going to go over today simple carbs that are made up of one to two different sugars and your complex carbs that are made up two to three different sugars. So simple carbs, it's like putting candy in your mouth and you know how it dissolves really fast or like if you put a sugar cube in your mouth instead. It dissolves really fast. It gives you that instant energy like if you drink a soda or something like that. That's kind of like what a simple carb is. Now there's the difference between a good simple carb and a bad simple carb, of course, just like there is with complex carbs. So complex carbs, first of all you have your veggies that are great complex carbs, but then you have your breads. So you can either have white rice or you can have brown rice, it's going to be a lot better for you. You can have white bread or you can have whole wheat. So complex carbs break down slow. It gives you more reserved energy throughout the day. So I came up with this. Early morning with your simple carbs. You have your simple carb, either non-fat Greek yogurt or like a banana or some type of fruit. And then directly after a workout because it balances out your system after your metabolism is shot through the roof and your endorphins are going, you have all that energy, it kind of levels you back out. And then with the complex carbs, early in the morning, you can have some oatmeal and then 40 minutes prior to any type of workout or exercise in general. And I usually say with like brown rice or like a whole wheat pasta. And then with your veggies, because veggies have very important nutrients in them. Minimum one to two cups of veggies every day before 6 p.m. And after 6 p.m., cut your carbs out completely. I know it's really tough, but you don't want to have those carbohydrates at night. Because regardless if it's a simple carb or if it's a complex carb, it's made up of sugar sugar will convert into fat a lot easier when your metabolism slows down. And your body's going to be like, you know what, feed me those carbs, feed me those carbs. Because you burned it off throughout the day. That's where your willpower pretty much comes in. Now with your proteins, you should have protein pretty much with every meal. Now you're getting proteins from so many different things, but you want to stay with lean proteins. So you're probably not going to get all the fats that your body actually needs. So a great way to, to a great supplement to that is fish oil or flaxseed because you get a great omega-3s and omega-3s they boost up your digestive system and it's just all around really good for you now the thing with if you don't want them to take like fish oil then the flaxseed is the best way to go but it's it's good to take those extra fats and at nighttime too you know while you're sleeping your body goes into a recovery mode now, if you don't have enough protein to have your body stay in that recovery mode without going into a catabolic state. Now, a catabolic state is when your body actually eats away your muscle tissue. It's because you're in almost a, in like a starvation mode and your body really doesn't know what to do. So it actually eats away your muscle tissue and it will store fat. So, for instance, if um, you see these people you know they exercise on a daily basis right and they only eat one to two meals a day and they're overweight they're overweight because their bodies don't know how to metabolize the food and when to metabolize it they're like should I metabolize it now or should I not it's like it's it's up and down up and down up and down and your meals too you should have five to seven small meals a day Always have, always, you never want to feel hungry because if you feel hungry, it's a lot easier for you to go into that catabolic state where you do not want to be. You always want to stay in a metabolic state. So, 
Another thing too, you have these small meals. You're trying to train your stomach to be full off the small meals. Now, say for instance you have a meal that's the size of, palm, of the palm of your hand. Then you have a large glass of water. What's that going to do? It's going to expand your stomach like you almost had two glass or like almost had two meals. And that defeats the whole purpose of having five to seven small meals a day and training your stomach to feel full of a small amount of food. And so you always you want to drink is you want to drink at least one liter to two liters of water a day, anyways, because you need to, your your water your body needs water. You need to stay hydrated. It's great for your muscles, and it's it's a necessity. And a lot of people, you know, you just don't drink enough water. So drink your water throughout the day, but 20 minutes before and 20 minutes after, don't drink any water while you're eating, because it will expand your stomach and dilute the nutrients from your food. It's like if you're taking in quality food and you're taking in those good nutrients, you, you want your body to have all those nutrients. You don't want to dilute it with the water. And you definitely don't want to expand your stomach. So try to try to limit that as much as you can. And you know, hopefully you en enjoy my diet tips. There's gonna be plenty more videos and plenty more things to come. And you can follow me on Facebook, John Halloran. Just click like and you know, I have a lot of uh, great tips for you, and hopefully you enjoy my workouts too. Take care.